today's topic is life before 80 10 10. Hi everyone, it's Melanie from Raw Nourishment. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode. Before I begin today, I just want to start by saying thank you so much for all the support that I have received from my first video. It truly means a lot. Okay, so to begin, I just want to start by saying that I have struggled with my weight my whole life. It's something that I have never been happy with or confident about and it's quite upsetting, really, because I want to become the best version of myself and so far I'm on the journey but I haven't arrived just yet. I used to be 10 kilos heavier about two years ago and I had made some changes along the way but I have never been able to sustain a healthy weight. Another thing that I used to have was acne. I used to suffer from acne right underneath my jawline. It impacted on every aspect of my life and it really got me down. I tried everything from chemicals to uh, the organic ranges and I couldn't really find anything that I was happy with. Another aspect that I used to have was really bad wind and gas. Um, I noticed this got really bad when I would spend time overseas or on an airplane or whenever I'd go out to dinner and I'd come home I'd literally be lying in bed in the fetal position and I'm crying and I was like, oh my belly. Another aspect that I noticed was in my former career as a primary school teacher, I was working about 12 hours a day, um, this is through Monday to Friday plus additional hours on the weekends and I was in a highly stressful job, there was lots of pressure and I would clench my teeth during the day and at night time I would grind in my sleep. got to the point where I had to wear a mouth guard for about three years and I was told that if I didn't want to wear the mouth guard, the alternate was to spend $1,500 for this, this machine that was going to change the way the brain waves in my head were processing. And I didn't really agree with spending that kind of money. Like, really? $1,500 is enough to get me a return ticket from Australia to England. So, yeah, I didn't agree with that. Another thing that happened was I had suffered from cystitis from about five years of age. So for any of you ladies out there that have had cystitis, you know how the burning sensation feels and how it stops you from doing whatever you're doing. So. Yeah, it got worse as I went into my adulthood years. So there were basically things that happened along the way. One aspect in particular was kind of like my aha moment, was when I was working on an American cruise line um, on the east coast of America. I did this for about five months. Um, I was working 75 hours a week, sleeping four hours a night, staying up late, drinking, partying, all the crazy hoo-ha <laughs> and the food that I was served was not what the guests were served by any means it was rubbish it was not right it was not flavorful it was not satisfying and it wasn't full of carbs so when I got back home to Australia after that job I was in between jobs and I had a lot of free time on my hands and I began researching I began questioning everything and there were little things that I had changed along the way through my research. I, um, yeah, this is going to sound really bad, but I was going through the whole low fat, sugar free kind of fad that was going out. I did the um, 15 day juice fast from Joe from Fat Sick Nearly Dead and got really, really skinny, but it didn't last for very long. Um, and, I was also um, turned vegetarian, then I went pescatarian, um, and then I read the 80-10-10 and I was like, bam, I'm high carb, low fat, raw vegan. It just, it just made sense to me. I read the book and I was literally like, oh, like the holy grail just arrived, you know, from Amazon. <laughs> and it changed my life. I think I was hooked after chapter two when I was reading about the physiology about our body that we are not designed to eat meat. We're just not. 
and I was reading about how our intestines are 12 times the length of our torsos, where carnivores' intestines are only three times the length of their torsos. Now we don't have massive fingernails that's going to, oh not fingernails, claws like rip open flesh and we're not going to consume a whole carcass. Whereas we're quite picky, we decide that when we go to the butchers or to the meat section of your local grocers that, oh I'm going to eat this section of the meat and I'm not going to eat it just by itself, I'm going to douse it in sauce and make it taste good. Like, carnivores don't do that, they just love the blood and all that kind of stuff. So it just really spoke to me and then as I started reading that our bodies need to be run on carbohydrates for optimal um, vitality and growth and all of that and I just started then researching other people on the movement and became inspired by their videos and I saw how fabulous their skin was and they were all lean and some of them had been on the lifestyle for seven years and I saw before in our photos from overweight to lean beautiful bodies and it really spoke to me and I kind of got um, the feeling that it's not a quick fix lifestyle it's not it's gonna be slow because you have had years of abuse on your body and this is something that's going to last forever it's not a quick fix and I am learning that now um, I'm not going to be losing another 10 kilos like ridiculously fast or whatever or lose 5 kilos in 2 weeks like I did on the juice fast and I won't be bulking it on again because it's going to be a lifetime where I'm going to find my ideal body weight and my, my weight's going to work itself out so I'm now listening to my body and I'm realising that as I'm on this journey to become the best version of myself and the more that I'm listening to my body and the more that I'm fueling my brain with information and statistics and videos and all of that kind of stuff that everything is kind of compiling together and the puzzles starting to become more complete and I think that's a beautiful thing wherever you are embrace it because you are meant to be where you are for a reason and I strongly believe that. I've been in the lifestyle now for seven months and it is exciting. It's a slow process but I'm feeling fabulous and I'm really interested to hear about where you are coming from and where you are in your journey because you know this channel is not just about me. I talk for quite a lot and you listen a lot but you know what I want to like keep this as like an open community where you feel comfortable to tell me about where you are because it's it's interesting and I'm not judging where you are because there's a reason that you are at that stage. If you've got information to share about your journey and you feel comfortable post it below in the comments section because I want to hear about it and it's going to be really fun to find out where everyone is so all I just wanted to do is like wherever you are today talk to yourself in a positive manner because you know what when you start talking to yourself in a nice way everything starts to change and I feel like for me my change started with the 80 10 10 that was the first thing that was the lifestyle change and from that one change, like it was a massive change, it has opened up a new world for me and everything's getting better. I now am looking at myself in the mirror and I'm feeling happier. I'm not like going, oh my god, I look so good, everybody come see how good I look. Like, I do that sometimes, but not like every day. But um, I'm feeling happier. And things, I don't know, it's just I feel like when I turned high carb, low fat, raw vegan, my brain just, the fog disappeared and things just became clearer and I began listening to my intuition and what it was telling me because I feel like for 26 years I had it on the mute button. Thanks so much for watching, wherever you are, hope you're having an amazing day and remember the best is yet to come. Thanks. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to follow me on my journey, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. 
And remember, be the change you want to see in the world.